Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is this keyword in Java and what is the usage or how to use this keyword in Java. So let us get into this uh, this this keyword. So first, we'll understand what is this keyword in Java. This is a keyword in Java. By using this keyword, we can refer current class object. So finally, this keyword is referring a current class object. Or I can say this keyword is equivalent to current class object. If I am using this keyword inside employee class, then this keyword will act as an employee object. If I am using this keyword inside a bank class, then this keyword will act as a bank object. So that's why I can say this keyword refers or it is equivalent to current class object. So already we know what is the usage of object. So by using object, I can call instance variable, instance method, as well as constructor. So by use, already we are familiar with the help of object. I can call instance variable. I can call instance method. Also with the help of object creation, I can call current class constructor. The same way by using this keyword also I can call these three. Yes, this keyword is equivalent to current class object. So finally by using this keyword by using this keyword we can call or invoke current class so please mark my word current class instance variable instance methods and constructors So friends, theoretically we are clear. I am summarizing the point once again. So this keyword is equivalent to current class object. If I am using this keyword inside employee class, then it will act as an employee object. So finally it is equivalent to object. So with the help of object, I can call instance variable, instance method and the constructor of the current class. The same way by using this keyword, I can call current class instance variables, instance method and the constructors. Right. So already in our previous video, we have discussed uh, what is instance variable, what is static variable and what is instance method, static methods, all those things already we have discussed in our previous video. In case if you haven't watched that video, so the link is available in the description, you can watch it. So now let me write a very simple program to explain this, uh, this keyword. Let me define a class employee. And in that class, I am just de declaring uh, some instance variable. Let it be employee ID employee name and employee salary so i have declared three instance variable for a employee class as id name salary so already we know with the help of constructor i can initialize these instance variable so let me define a constructor with argument Look at my argument. 
purposely I'm making same name. So you know that this is my local variable, right? So this ID is the local variable, but this ID is an instance variable. The same way name as well as salary, right? So now both are same name. So now if I try to assign like this, if I try to assign like this, what will happen? You can see I'm getting the yellow color warning. So it is saying that the assignment to variable ID has no effect. So which means inside this constructor, this local variable is taking more scope than instance variable. So which means here what is happening? I am assigning a value to the local variable itself. But I need to tell to my compiler, this is my local variable and my intention is I want to assign this local variable value into a instance variable. So how to call my instance variable? Either I have to go for object creation to call my instance variable or else I can go for this keyword. You can see the moment I use this keyword, you can see the color is changing. So this is local variable with a light uh, maroon color and this blue color indicate my instance variable. So finally by using this keyword I can call or I can access current class instance variable. So the first point is clear. I'm just uh, initializing all the three. So now let me define one instance method. I'm going to define an instance method, let it be display. And this is going to display all my employee details. Let it be, it is going to display the ID. Same way, I'm going to display name as well as salary of the particular employee. So we are clear. So now just assume that usually what we will do in the main method, we will be creating object of employee class with the help of that object creation. It will invoke my constructor and it will initialize these values. And from main method, we will call this display method with the help of employee object. So this is usually what we are doing. But now what I'm going to do from this constructor itself, I'm going to call my instance variable with the help of this keyword. So finally here you can look at my code uh, friends. By using this keyword, I can able to call my instance variable as well as I can able to call my display method from the current class. So now the last point is we have to see how to call the constructor. Because this keyword is equivalent to object because of object creation, it will invoke the constructor automatically. The same way I'm going to show a very simple example to invoke current class constructor by using this keyword. So let you can look at my constructor. I have a empty argument or the default constructor. So from this, I'm going to call my constructor with three argument. I'm just pausing some ID, some name, as well as some salary. Finally here, from this default constructor, it is invoking my 
current class constructor with three arguments and the flow will come here right so here what i am doing i am assigning this local value to instance how i am referring my instance variable with the help of this keyword and once all the values initialized i am invoking a display method of the current class by using this keyword so let me complete this code to check my output so my flow is starting from this one i mean the default constructor so what i will do in the main class i will be creating object to invoke a default or empty constructor so now let me run this code and let us verify our output also you can see it is initializing all the values successfully also it is displaying so finally the flow is starting from the main method from my main method i am invoking employee class uh, empty constructor by creating an object it will come to employee class empty constructor from employee class empty constructor with the help of this keyword i am invoking the same employee class constructor with three argument and with the help of this constructor i am initializing local and sorry i am initializing all the three instance variable how i am accessing my instance variable with the help of this keyword this dot variable name same way i can call this dot instance method so finally this keyword is equivalent to current class object so by using this keyword we can access current class instance variable instance method as well as current class constructor hope friends we are clear about what is this keyword and how to use this keyword in java thanks friends for watching for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends